how does real estate works, who's involved in real estate, whether you are buying a property or selling a property. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with EXP Realty. Today I'm going to show you how does real estate works, who's involved in real estate, whether you are buying a property or selling a property. Because these are important, especially if you don't have any experience in real estate, if this is your first time home buyer, for example, that you don't have a clue what you need to do first when you are buying a property. This video is for you. Make sure to watch this video from this start until the end because I'm gonna give you some good example and you need to follow these guidelines so that you will have like a smooth transaction. All right, but before I start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome, please subscribe and the most important thing, smash that like button for me and share this video to your family and friends. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So first thing that I would like to show or tell you here is like you need to have someone who will represent you, who will be your a leader not a leader but somebody who will be in front of you when you are selling or buying a property why because here if you don't know about real estate at all it will be hard for you where to start like me I'm a realtor here in Central Florida I represent my clients who wants to buy a property around this area especially for those people or for most of my client is like a first-time home buyer they don't know how does real estate works what they need to do what they need to start because they don't have any idea about real estate all right so same thing if you are selling a property if you are planning to sell a property yes you can sell your property by your own you don't need to hire a real estate agent or you don't need to hire me it's just because like you can do this this is your own property however there is a consequence on that one you need to know how does the market work for you is the market work for you at this time if you want to sell your property do you know how much the market or do you know how much the cost or actual cost of your property once you put this property in the market do you know how much property that's been sold right to your neighbor or in a mile away from your property do you also know the current market value of your property so all that stuff is a lot to think about if you don't know any idea about real estate yes as I said before there's a lot of for sale by owner you can do that but the consequence is you need to think about it okay especially in marketing if you want to sell your property in a top dollar you need to have a good marketing not just about good marketing you need to get a good marketer as well if you are not good in marketing it will be hard for you to sell your property at the same time it will be delayed the property when you are selling your property i hope that makes sense so if you have any question about that one feel free to comment down below i will try to answer your question okay so that's the number one thing that you need to remember when you are doing a real estate transaction okay so the so second one i'm gonna tell you is once you have a realtor they will tell you what you need to do next so if you are buying a property you need to have a lender okay what is lender lender is like a bank okay imagine this if you are going to buy a property and obviously if you don't have any money or cash to pay the property that you would like to buy obviously you will need some help you will need a bank to lend you money so that the bank will give you money and then you will pay the bank with the monthly interest rate so this is called the mortgage so if you don't have a bank or a lender who will lend you money how are you gonna buy the real estate that you would like to purchase right so that's the second one that you need to think about it when you are buying a property you need to have a lender it doesn't matter if it's your local bank you could use that one or a private lender whatever fits for you and also I did a video as well on a week ago saying if you want to have a saving or you can save some money on your closing costs I recommend to get the lender of the builder this is for new construction if, if you would like to buy a new construction for this kind of transaction and you want to save some closing costs and then hire the lender for new construction builder it's not about like saving money and also they will give you some option too okay so remember that one so that's my second one I will get to my third one which is you need to have a appraisal okay what is the appraisal or appraiser the appraisal or the appraiser who will appraise the property once you get under contract or once you have a property that you would like to buy you need to do is like the appraisal 
okay so they will appraise your property whether if the property is currently in the market in the correct price that the seller is selling right for example if you are selling a property and then there's a buyer who wants to buy your property and then the buyer gives you an offer for 400,000 and your price is around 400,000 and then the appraiser what they will do is they will check your property if your property is actually cost of 400,000 what they will do is they will compare the property from property A to property B to property C okay so how can they know if they are in the good price like your property that you are selling right now is the same on the property B which is the same on the property C okay what are the difference so if you are selling a three bedroom for example and the property B is selling for three bedroom as well plus with the swimming pool and then they are selling or the property has been sold with the property B for 420,000 and your property A is selling for 400,000 with a similar bedroom but there's no swimming pool and then you are selling your property for 400,000 it means that's a good comparable because let's say having a swimming pool with the property will cost you more than 20,000 on a resale house or if you have like it depends how good is the swimming pool obviously it will cost more so the comparable in your property that you are selling right now that makes sure that the property is on point because otherwise the appraiser said if this property is selling for 400,000 and they appraise only for 380,000 the buyer who wants to buy this property they can say hold on in a minute uh, this property is only appraised for 380 so we can negotiate about this one right so you need to think about that especially for those seller who wants to sell their property you know in the right market price okay that's important so let's say once they get the appraised and we'll go to the next one sorry you need to have like an inspector as well because you need to have an inspector to inspect the property first before the appraisal okay so you need to remember that you need to have an inspector first so once you get inspect the property what you need to do is you will bring the appraisal so the appraisal will appraise the property after the inspection if you are happy about the inspection what they did in your property then they will appraise the property okay so you need to check that out so because if you don't have have like an uh, inspection in your property what will happen is like obviously you don't know what's wrong in the property what if there's a problem in the property if there's a leak on the roof of the property if the air conditioning is working well if the plumbing system is good and also the electrical if you have some electrical issue so inspection or inspector or home inspector is very important when you are obviously buying a property all right that's my third one so let's go to my last one so the last one you need to know is like you need to have a title company okay what is the title company or escrow company so this is like what what you need to do is like when you have a title company this is where you're gonna do your closing okay because so once you have a transaction in real estate this is what you need to think okay so you have like a realtor like me that's gonna be involved second is your inspector the third is your appraisal and then the last is your title company or title who will close your deal and also I forgot the fifth one is your lender don't forget your lender or your bank because that's the one who gonna lend you money you know to get a loan for your real estate so once you have your title company who will do the transaction for you they will say hey you are good to go this is the amount that you are approved and then we will do the transaction here and we will close on this date and this time and such more okay they are in the middle of the transaction so like for example this is the seller this is the buyer and the title company is here in the middle and then you will meet in the title company to sign the paper and the documents and then boom you are in the real estate transaction if everything's good to go everything's smooth no problem and then you sign the paper you have your property if you are selling your property then you sold your property and then if you are buying your property then you bought the property you are the property owner so those are the main basic of real estate so this is the bonus if you are watching and this till end as I said I have a bonus for you I wanted to share you my real estate estate team my real estate team here in florida is the mega icon team and this is the premium group of exp exp is my brokerage here in central florida or in florida exp is not just about florida we are whole wide world okay we are not just in the united states we are also brokerage of like united kingdom in europe in south america and also in asia like south asia in singapore we 
have some brokerage out there which is exp member to that we can transact not just here in florida but out of state or out of country as well all right but if you want more information about my team if you're a realtor as well looking to have a good team you can come to my team and i can give you a good example and also a good introduction as well of my team and you might be love it because like the team that i'm on right now on premier group they have a lot of support not just about the support we have like a group team meeting every single week and then also what we do is like we helping each other and that's what we're here for right if you have a good team you know you will have a peace of mind that somebody will help you somebody there ever you get stuck they will there for you to help you out all right so this is the video for today i hope you enjoy this video if you stay in this video until the end comment down below premier group so i can see how many people who watch this video until this end and i know i'm talking too much so i'm stopping my video right now peace check is my camera working oh it works what is going on guys oh, i'm stuck let's do it again part two